we're in Greenville, South Carolina today. We're trying to pull off the largest adoption uh, in the state's history. And I think we just did it. Uh, we're going for 600 dogs, but we got about 450. As you can see here, uh, we parted with five of the paws, and these are some of the planes taking dogs that were about to be killed to new homes. Look at all those planes loaded with dogs. And there's probably about eight to 10 dogs per plane. So you're looking at maybe 10 planes. So right there, 100 dogs have been saved and are flying home. And what's also incredible about this is that every pilot that's piloting one of these planes is a volunteer, pays their own fuel, and uh, does this because they love it. Karen Talbot of Animal Aid put this all together. And she does this once a month. Uh, we do one large one per year, which is this one, when we partner with Pots and Pals, and then every month we do about 150 a month. We're driving back tonight, and tomorrow morning is going to be a great day because you're going to see a lot of these dogs being introduced to their new family members. So, uh, pretty incredible what these volunteers do. Yes, yes, he just does all this action, all these puppies, all my friends. Love a pet, love Subaru. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Going right, to New Jersey. you fly with your father? Yeah. How do you think this one feels right now? I think she feels nervous. She feels nervous. Yeah. Don't you feel great that you and your father saved her and are transporting her? Yeah. Can you imagine someone didn't want her? Oh, well, you're going to get her emotional. What's wrong with people? Yeah, I know. You're going to get emotional. Where are you guys flying to? West Palm Beach. Yeah. And uh, we have 23 doggies we're taking home to our rescue to find them their forever homes. That's Justin, awesome. Justin Bartlett Animal Rescue, West Palm Beach, Florida. God bless. And here's one of our rescues right here. Oh. Thank you. Uh, this is actually the last plane that we're loading to go. Every time a dog flies out or a dog leaves with us on ground transport, it's saving the lives of more dogs down here because it's emptying space. Um, after all is said and done on the flyway and the ground transport, we're probably going to be at about 400 animals saved today. So we're leaving now after this wraps up, and then we're going out to Debbie's Ranch. We're going to spend the day there, and then we're going to load up our ground dogs and meet our Georgia team on 95 and head home with probably another 170 dogs. So, yeah, it's crazy. Do I look like I know how to transport dogs or what?
stay here. Puppy! All right, I need two carriers. successful mission? It's not successful. The very last dog is at its location and we're at home and I'm on my computer posting who was adopted. So nope, not successful yet until the very last one. We're getting close. <laughs>